everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk about why I think NVIDIA is gonna crush earnings in Q2. They're announcing their earnings on August 28th, so in just under a month from the time this video is being recorded. But all signs are pointing to them crushing even their own guidance. During Q1, NVIDIA said for Q2, they expected revenue to come in at $28 billion, plus or minus 2%. So best case, they would estimate $28.5 billion in revenue while analysts are projecting revenue to be between 24.9 billion on the low end and 28.2 billion on the high end, with the average being 24.9 billion. I expect NVIDIA to surpass 30 billion in revenue this quarter. The early signal that I believe is pointing to this is the results in CapEx spending in Q2 by Meta, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. These four companies are the largest spenders on data center related equipment at the moment as they build out their networks to handle their related ML-based products for their cloud offerings and, in Meta's case, on their social network. Let me quickly hop into some data that I've pulled from the SCC website for each of these companies. This table that we're looking at shows the amount of CapEx spend by each firm by quarter since Q1 of 2022. A quick note is Microsoft has a weird fiscal year, so their Q4 is everyone else's Q2. I've adjusted to align the numbers on a standard fiscal year in this table. So quickly, let's take a look at the Q2 results for each company here. Meta spent 31% more year over year on CapEx. Amazon is up 54%. Google is up almost 100% at 91% year over year. And Microsoft is up 55% year over year. All of these firms have narrowed their focus and cut a lot of costs in the last couple of years. This leads me to believe that they are spending almost purely on building out their network infrastructure to handle ML and AI related traffic in their data centers. We've heard as much from each CFO as well during recent earnings, where they have stated the, that they expect heightened capital expenditures in relation to ML and AI. Now, let me hop over to my analysis and explain how I end up with the revenue numbers that I get for Q2 for NVIDIA. What we are seeing here in this table is NVIDIA's historical revenue by quarter by product line on the top. The bottom table is that same table we just looked at showing the CapEx for those firms. And then the last line here is the data center revenue as a percentage of total CapEx from these firms. This is a proxy as there are way more customers that NVIDIA is serving. But these four, I would guess, make up a majority of the revenue that NVIDIA sees. Smaller firms just simply don't have billions to spend with NVIDIA. So it has to be coming from big tech, in my opinion. So we can see here, starting in 2023, we really start to see the data center revenue explode for NVIDIA. Then about six months later in Q4 of 2023 is when we start to see large accelerations in CapEx spending by these firms. Now, if we look at Q2 results on CapEx, it's up almost $20 billion year over year and up $8 billion just from Q1. We're at basically record high levels of CapEx spend. So if I hold my percentage of revenue flat for data centers from Q1 at 51% and apply that to the total CapEx of 53 billion, then for Q2, we get data center revenue coming in at $27 billion. That number alone is almost higher than all estimates from analysts. For the other four business units, I've simply held them flat to Q1, and this gets us a total revenue of $30.4 billion for Q2. There's definitely going to be a margin of error here, but everything from an investment perspective is pointing to NVIDIA blowing their revenue estimates out of the water. I think the performance of the stock, though, will almost certainly rely on guidance that they provide for Q3. If they signal there's been a slowdown in the last month, then we could still see a decline in share price, even on a strong revenue beat. But I believe these levels of investment are going to continue to accelerate for the next year or so as these large cloud providers play catch up to the demand. That's all I got for today. I hope you found this helpful and let me know your thoughts below. Do you think that this is a terrible signal to be looking at? Or do you think we might be able to extrapolate out CapEx spend by big tech to predict NVIDIA's earnings? Anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time.